be doing a lot more of these videos where I talk about lessons that I learned from my father. But one of the most valuable lessons that my father taught me, he didn't even realize he was teaching me as he was saying this. And he would often say this line exactly, take your time, hurry up, take your time, hurry up. And it's such a brilliant thing to say to somebody that you, you need something done quick, but you also don't want to rush them. Brilliance. And life is a lot like that. Life is a lot like that. When you realize that the paradoxes of life are everywhere. I've said before, as you grow in truth, you realize the paradoxes. Um, he who humbles himself will be exalted. He who exalts himself will be humbled. Right? The idea that more I think I am a know-it-all, life is going to humble me. But the more I humble myself and realize how little I know, those are the people I, I, I just I connect with. Because we're here trying to figure life out and we realize we're not really ever going to figure it out. It's not something that we figure out from the intellectual mind. We grow in it. We we grow in the the wonderment of it all. Those are the most, they're, they're the greatest conversations. The worst conversations are two people who know it all. Um, you know, there might be some entertainment to that, but the greatest conversations is when we're really trying, we're growing in truth together. We realize how little we know. Um or, or at least people who have two different ideas and their willingness to listen to a higher truth. Those are the best conversations in my view. But 2022, 2023 has been years of the paradoxes for me and how they're, they're really everywhere. The things that we want from other people, the things that really bring joy and happiness, true happiness are paradoxical. The advice that we want is paradoxical. Sometimes we need a hug. Sometimes we need a reality check. And that's where wisdom is. It's where we're into this flow state. Paradoxes come in flow state. When you're in flow state, you see the higher truth between things. Life is not binary. It is paradoxical. And the key, I think, is to live there and to grow in them. One of the ultimate paradoxes is that deep down within everybody, we're, we're, there's an aspect of evil within us. There's that dictator within all of us, but there's also that creator within all of us. There's that version of us that is so, it's so powerful. It's it's above, you know, the the false, the the um, the egotistical part of us. The way that we grow into that understanding is really understanding that duality that's within us. Many different people have called different things. I've spoken on the idea of born again men. It's a rebirth. It's a higher level of seeing. The other is uh, integrating the ego. The other is um, the dark night of the soul, integrating the shadow, seeing the shadow side of ourselves. It's a scary thing to realize that within each of us is a narcissistic, selfish person. When you see that, that's how you can let go of it. But if you don't think that, you think that you're just a goody two-shoes, that's a sign that you haven't integrated that part. And when you have this allowance for the selfish part of you, that's where you can have a healthy relationship with yourself. If you don't think that, then you will pedestalize yourself. You'll think you're better than other people. You'll say, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. This is like the idea of Pinocchio. I'm a good boy and the nose grows, right? And this is often the paradox you'll see with, you know, with, with, um, with Christ. I am a sinner. I'm a guilty sinner. I rejected that idea for a long time because I thought like, you know, guilt and shame. I don't want to live in guilt and shame. And there's a piece of truth. That's because I didn't see the paradox of it. But there's something powerful about owning your weaknesses. When you own your weaknesses, you're strong. A weak person doesn't own their weaknesses and pretends to be strong. When you start to see these layers of paradoxes, it's really change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's really such a powerful thing. That kingdom of heaven that's within, I think, is part of this to see those paradoxes. It's so simple. And it's just such a simple line, like my father had said to me, take your time, hurry up. I invite you to grow in those paradoxes.
every single day, the paradoxes that you see. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Where did that come from? Damned if I do, damned if I don't. So it's truth in that. Life is not just this binary code, this, that. There is a truth in that to take a step back. Again, this is another paradox, right? Because there's many people who want to say there, there is no binary. I do believe on a certain level of, of life, there is that binary. What you put in is what you get out. That's a binary thing. So it, it's very easy to say, oh, there's no rules. But it's more so that there's a set of rules here and there's a higher set of rules here. And to grow in those higher set of rules, you get to play in the in the game uh, authentically. There is men and there is women. And when you are connected with your higher self, you express your masculinity honestly, unapologetically, with no hate in your heart. Versus I must do masculinity. I must be a man. I'm alpha. It's not real. It's fake and it will be exposed. So at first, there's a lot of conflict with the paradoxes, but the more that you see them and you grow into them, there's, there's something that comes out of that. And I think that's the, that is the rebirth. That is the born again men idea that I, I promote constantly. It's why I've named my channels born again men. Don't run from the paradoxes. Embrace them and welcome them and understand them. It is an opportunity to see deeper truths. But I think it is also scary. Again, I think one of the scariest things is to realize is that you are deeply selfish. Consider that idea. You're deeply selfish. Because in that selfishness, as you go into the paradox, you see that higher truth. It really is beautiful. It really is. Because the alternative to that is a personality. Oh, I'm a happy person. Really? You're never sad in your entire life? I'm weary of people who are never in a low moment. Life is not like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? You know, it's like, it's that to me is, is more of a worry. And that's where I often speak about the idea of false positivity. Conscious positivity is a different thing. Conscious positivity sees the paradox. Unapologetic. Real, real is positive. That's real. Real is positivity to me. So grow in the paradoxes. Use them, speak them. There's a freshness there. And on your way to the paradoxes, take your time, hurry up.